Yeah, right inside this rubber is my hot water, and this is my gari. You understand? Hot water is there already. So once your hot water is ready, you turn your gari like this inside the hot water. Can you see? Turn the gari inside the hot water. Yeah, let them see inside the pocket like this. You turn the gari inside. That is how it should look like. Then you cover it. You cover this for some time. Yeah. After you've covered it for a while, all you need to do is you use your turning stick to turn it. Yeah. You can see it's now in a bar form in Niger Thames. Then all you need to do next is that you now pour in your is uh, the 0.8 mm feed. And I, as I said earlier, 0.8 is very, very rich in protein, vitamins, in all things because it's a starter feed, so it's rich in all things. So you turn it inside, as you can see. You turn it inside. You turn it inside. Then you use your turning stick to turn it. As you can see, use your turning stick to turn it. And uh, what next? Your the crayfish is now in a powder form that has been blended. So you now do what? You turn it. The fish. I didn't use everything, all that you saw, I didn't use everything. Just blend a little. And uh, the 0.8 mm feed is what I'm going to use is just half kg of it. Half 0.5, half kg of the foreign uh, starter feed. You can see how the stuff is like. I'm going to remove it very soon to my mixing table to mix everything properly then what next my eggs as I said earlier egg is very very important because egg is very very rich in protein so you do what I break my eggs inside I have four eggs here Each egg contains a lot of protein too. So the feed I'm producing is highly rich in protein. Now you see, you still do what? You continue to turn. You continue to mix. It's not hard the way supposed to be but when I take it to my table my mixing table I'm going to ensure I get to uh, I get what I want mm. then what I put in next is my vegetable oil red oil as you can see that's my red oil I also turn it I have to mix it properly. 